Hello guys, it's Pug Gaming here and I hope you've all had an amazing Christmas and a very happy new year. We are now going to start 2017 with some new games. I've been very lucky over the Christmas period to buy some additional games to add to the channel and the first one which really took my interest was this Cabal Space Program and it's what it says on the tin pretty much. Um, you pretty much build yourself a rocket ship of some description and you can fly yourself into outer space and there's various planets and moons around that you can land on and you get missions etc so I've not had a chance to really get into this myself and play so we're going to do this together and um, try and learn as we go along really so we're going to miss out the training I want to get straight into it I've watched a few videos but nothing too outrageous so save game name let's just put pug game modes we can either do a sandbox which allows us to have all the parts and features available from the start science which allows us to have to gather information to research new technology or we got career but what i'm thinking what we're going to do with these new games is I'm going to do sort of 5 to 10 episodes on each of these new games and trust me there's quite a few that I've got to play with so there's a lot of time that we've got. Um, but what we'll do here because we're just trying to get into the game we're going to start with the sandbox and we'll keep everything as normal for now. That will do. I'm not too sure what I'm doing just yet as I said but we jump into start let's see what we can do so here's mr. command he's the flight director blah 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 so giving us an idea on how to play the game a bit better here so you can manage all the aspects of the space program here feel free to look around hold the right mouse button to move the camera or use the arrow keys Right click over the space center facility to view more about them and left click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the training. Okay, so we've got the astronaut complex here which contains the living quarters and all of our crew members. Let's have a quick look in. So we've got so far our active cabals. So We've got a pilot, an engineer, and scientist, and another pilot. So I assume the stars are how good they are. And they've got courage and stupidity. And we've got some, what's this, extra money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's our team. We've got flagpoles. This is the official flag of the space program, or we could change it. So this is our flag. Is there any others that take our fancy? I think we will go for this one, the squad logo. So we've got our flag sorted, that's all done. We've now got the launch pad, which is obviously all the way over here, away from everything else. So we've got some missions here that we can undertake. We'll obviously work on these. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Let's go back to where we were. If I know how to, which is obviously the hardest part about starting a new game. Okay. Let's check out the others. We've got the runway here as well. So we can also make, as well as spaceships, we can make space planes, which is pretty awesome. I really like the idea of that. We've got a space plane hangar, which allows us to construct various designs. Tracking station, obviously, is the terminal to find out where you are. And we've got the vehicle assembly building, which is where the spacecrafts are developed and designed. So, let's have a look in here quickly. This is where we build our ships. So, this is the engineer, chief rocketry engineer. 
Wernher von Kamel. So this is the vehicle assembly building where we build spaceships and later roll them out onto the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, impressive isn't it? On the left you'll find the components, blah 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 blah. You can have the look around, use the right bus button and the arrow keys, okay. That's pretty simple. So, we can move things around here, we can have a look at this ship here. So this top part is pretty much where your man sits. This is the little space portal, I guess it's called. What they actually call it? Com command pod, okay. So we've got that. So this basically is like the cockpit. We've got the cockpit. And we've got lots of bits to fill in. So we've got the pods, which is what we're looking at here. Obviously we've got some for some proper big, big um, spaceships and rockets. We've got the fuel tanks, various different fuel tanks. Each one allows the fuel to burn at a different rate. So depending on where you're going, will depend on how much and what type of fuel you end up using. So there's a lot to use here. We have got the engines, which obviously is what makes us fly. Command and control, so we've got stabilizers, things that help you fly a little bit better. Structural, so this is obviously if you're building big, big aircraft, we all need some sort of support to keep it all together. We've got some coupling devices here as well. Payload. Aerodynamics, which is more for if you're creating a actual proper rocket, or also we got the planes here as well, so we can add these on. Obviously not on this one in particular because this is a little bit too big. We've got the grounds, we've got the wheels, etc. here as well. Thermals, so this is the heat shields to protect yourself in your little pod to the actual rockets underneath you. We've got the electrical parts as well. Communication, obviously handy if you want to find out where your spacecraft is. Science as well, so these are the devices you can attach to your spaceships to gather information, which because we're doing the sandbox doesn't really matter, but when you're doing the career mode that's very vital. And then we've got utilities, which are all the extra bits as well. So, how do we begin this then? So we've already got this spaceship here anyway, which as you can see has got its portal, it's got some rocket power, it's got an engine, it's got some aerodynamics, and I forget what these ones are, what are these? Not too sure, but one thing that you need to remember is symmetry. When you're building ships you need to make sure that what you put on one part of the ship is on the other. <clears throat> so in this particular situation we want to make everything balanced. If we only had the one, if we go back to it, if you have the one you'll find the ship itself would start to turn to <clears throat> one direction. So you've got to remember that when you're adding things onto the spaceship you'll need to make sure that you've got some sort of symmetry. So this one in particular we need three. We want them like that. So now the symmetry is perfect. And I think what we'll do here, because we're obviously very new to the game and there's already a craft made for us, we're gonna to need to just jump into the launch. So we'll clear that one and we'll go done. So, if I've remembered the controls correctly, here we see Valentina Kaman in the aircraft. He is ready. He's all systems go. We've got the throttle here. So, what we have over this side is the number in terms of countdown. So, when you press the action key, which in this case is the space bar, these are the actions it takes. So the first action will be the starting of the engine. So we'll get the thrust, so we'll be able to fly in the air. 
and then once you're in the air and you're coming back down you obviously want to be able to come down and not kill yourself so the next step is a parachute which opens up which as you can see here in the green we have lit up here so these count down so if I was going to add another set of rockets or some sort of fuel that will come under number two so it's a countdown it's not going up so we're not putting a parachute out first it's going from the highest number downwards so what we need to do now is I need to try and remember what we use for the throttle so this is inside the aircraft and we've got the throttle key here so we can do it manually like so now we've got to try and remember how to get back to our other view so in terms of the directions you're using the Q and E to go left and right up and down is F sorry W and S and you've also got the A and D as well which moves you so that's the throttle keys Z and X so you can see when I'm pressing Z we're going all the way up so we've only got 0 or 100% here we can't go anywhere in between for this particular purpose So, if we can get back to the other view, if I can remember what button it is, it's not that one. So we've also got the warp time as well, so we can move things around really quickly and obviously if you're going into outer space, you want things to be a bit quicker than normal. Okay. So if we try and work out how to get back to the proper view, which I have completely forgotten what we've got to press, which is a little bit annoying. okay okay right so we can do more than 0 or 100% we're using the alt and control key instead oh and I've just taken off which is a bit silly Okay, so let's do this again. So we'll go to this. Launch. 
Okay, so we are back. So one thing we do is put the SAS on, which stabilizes the aircraft. And so like I said, we've got the throttle keys here. So if we're pressing Control and Alt, we can move things around a little bit better. So I think what we're gonna do quickly is just time warp a bit to get out of the night time. Uh, missed it. That's annoying. Okay, right, so here we are. I think we are ready to go. So, first flight, we are pressing the space bar with the throttle. We're going to start around, we'll start at 100. We'll be able to see in this bottom corner how quickly it all goes. So, zoom out a little bit. Let's go. So, here we go. As you can see, the fuel goes extremely quickly. We're just going to drop it down a little bit here. Although, saying that, the fuel itself didn't really do much. <laughs> okay. So we're still going up, as you can see, 5,000. We are now slowing down, but we're still getting up. You can see here from the atmosphere, that's how close we are to outer space. This area here is the outer space area. So we're quite far, far away from that. Not sure how high we're actually we're coming down now. So what we're gonna do on the controls? This one obviously twists around. So Q and E twist things around, and we're dropping down now. And what you want to do is don't let the parachute out until around 1,000 meters from from Earth. So it looks like we might be landing in the water. Which doesn't matter too much in my opinion. We've got the stabilizer on, which doesn't allow us to go all crazy. So we're at a thousand, so let's put the parachute up. And I did that a little bit too late. Okay, so we just killed our first pilot. And that didn't quite work to plan, did it guys? Okay, so we'll forget that we had a absolute disaster there. And we'll revert to the launch. And we'll give this another go. And pretend that that did not happen. It's a nighttime one as well. And I think Valentina is probably a little bit scared at this moment. We're going to put the stabilizer on here. So with the stabilizer on you can move around but it just draws you back straight after with the stabilizer. So we're nearly at 8,000, which I think was as high as we can get on the solid fuel that we've got on this first spacecraft. And here we go, we are now dropping back down. So this time, we'll be releasing the parachute at around 2,500, just to be safe. Not too sure what I should have done it at, but clearly 1,000 was not quite sufficient so we're open up now just to be safe and as you can see the parachute is now open and around thousand meters from the ground we get the opening and there we go we've got some protection and as you can see now we are dropping at a much better rate per meter which means we are safe well we're not going to die this time <laughs> let's put it that way So, coming in to land for our first outer space mission, I guess. So the actual mechanics of this game, from what I've seen on other people's videos and demos and 
screenshots and videos and everything else the mechanics are amazing they work extremely well and it's going to obviously take us a little bit of time to really get into this game but for now we've been able to gather some of the controls we've got a bit of understanding on how all this works and as we come into the final 300 meters we can successfully say we have had a outer space flight with a successful landing I think Mr. Command is going to be extremely happy as long as he forgets the previous flight which didn't really happen if you are going to play the game like me guys so here we come down and down and down almost there and we have successfully landed a little bit away from our space center but in a much better way than we did previously so guys i think we're gonna leave it there for episode one please let me know your thoughts and comments on this game i'm looking to like i say do five to ten episodes and we'll see how well it goes next episode i think i'm going to try and create a space plane so until next time all the best and I'll see you soon.